Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, Slytherins, and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. I am Cobalt Thorium, and we just got into our common room. Well, we're not really in the com- I guess it is a common room, actually, now that I, now that I look at it. Kind of poking around here. Got some cookies, looks like. Some kind of cookies. Or... I'm British, so they're, they're probably biscuits, not cookies. <laughs> All right. How, how the heck do I get out of here? Is this the door? How do I get out of here? Find your common room. Oh, I should probably look at the map, right? Oh, there's a door right there. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe I didn't do a full circuit, and I just thought I did. Oh, that's kind of cozy. Alright, cool. Ooh, what is this? F. Nom nom. Can I, can I have tea? No. Okay. So the apples are the only thing you can interact with. Okay. Look at that. The artistry in this game is really good. Now, of course, it says to go that way, but I'm going to look around a little bit. Oh. You can go into all of them? explore these offline. I'm not going to make everybody sit through that. be interesting to see if the boys' and girls' dorms are different. I would assume that the boys' dor dorms are on the opposite side. Oh, hello. Hey there. Got some paintings. I want to talk to. I'm new here. I have no friends. <laughs> All right, so that's where my room is. Is that Slytherin himself? Whoa, there's a big snake here. Snake railings. Oh, the paintings are moving. Hi there. Can I talk to you? No. Okay. Are you sneezing or laughing? Okay, let's try to play this piano a little bit. No piano animation. Whoa, okay, the knights move. <laughs> Do these things move too? Okay, so the piano plays itself basically. There's a guy up there. I just want to check this place out a little bit. Okay, so these rooms are basically the same. Um, let's just try one more randomly. This one's got a bookshelf, but I mean, other than that, it's the same. The other ones might have had a bookshelf too, and maybe I just didn't notice. There's some mirrors in here. That's about it. Okay. I think we can assume that they're pretty much the same. Wow, this I place... I suppose some introductions are in order. This place is enormous. A new video. Must be different. 
starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. I wonder where they're from. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the Ministry. Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? I can't imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. Let them through. Okay. Well, it might turn out that I'm gonna... Uh, oh. <laughs> it's got a little bit of trail mix. There's a little globe here I can spin, maybe. It's cool. Where did you get your dragon hide gloves? I saw you handling that snuggle off in the apology. You know my gloves went mysteriously missing. <laughs> There's that same guy again. Okay, so this group left. Oh, uh, okay. More snacks. You can eat all these snacks, jeez. You're gonna be full. <coughs> alright, um... Alright, so I've been down that corridor. Let's go upstairs. There's another one of those globes. Just kind of exploring right now. Let's see if this is Slytherin. What is that? Okay, we got a lock that we can break or something. I hope that I'm able to access the other dormitories without, like, at some point in the game, without having to replay every time. Just in general, it seems like uh, it seems like most people are probably going to play either. I'm going to say that like half the people are probably going to play as Gryffindor, and like a smaller portion is going to play as Slytherin, and a smaller portion will play as Ravenclaw, and like nobody are going to is going to play as Hufflepuff, because who wants to be a Hufflepuff? Seriously. <laughs> All right, let's check out up here. It's just going to be more dorms. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is the way that we were supposed to come down. I actually kind of like that we came out over there. Have you ever flown over the Black Lake and seen a squid? Obviously, I have. Was just wondering. I think I'd have made an effort. Already knew that. I have a sharp eye. Can spot the shadow of the demi guys in the snow. I think Madame Kagawa's brother is a professional Quidditch player. Wish I could meet him. My get... <laughs> sister organized Quidditch practice all summer to prepare for this well, year. I suppose. She was most upset when it was cancelled. No. I think it's for the best that Kagawa takes flying seriously. Far too easy for first years to injure themselves <sighs> in class. Not to say that's not amusing. <laughs> oh, jeez. I get the feeling that... Already knew that. ...that the Slytherin are just going to be insufferable. <laughs> Still, I do wonder. I'd wager the Hufflepuff common is the coziest of them all. Simply the fact that it's so close to the kitchens makes it seem more homely. I think it's rather unique that you can see the lake from the Slytherin common room. I bet all of the houses would appreciate it if you asked them. I prefer to study in the library. Well, I it's always much okay. in the common room. Enough of that. Oh. Enough of just overhearing conversations here. What is this? Kenmare Kestrels. That okay. Rosedale thinks she can fly better than anyone. All talk if you ask me. The best way to learn how to fly a broomstick is by trial and error. In my case, it, it was a lot of error. Oh. There are some impressive <laughs> new brooms at spin witches. Okay. I like the just like casual banter. It's it some thought has been put into it. It's kind of nice. These tapestries are kinda cool. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so this is the way out. Okay, so we got we have a giant dragon. More giant dragon. Or like a flag serpent of some kind. We got a crack in here. Or at least some kind of sea monster. That looks like it's underwater. Shipwreck. We have a, sort of a Kraken emerging from the water, uh, sorry, a dragon emerging, emerging from the water, or some kind of 
Yeah, there's mermaids. That's interesting. I wouldn't have. I just know we're finally going to win the Quidditch Cup this year. I would. Wouldn't it be romantic to fly amongst the stars? Even Professor Shaw might think so. I wouldn't really expect um, mermaids to be such a, a big theme in the Slytherin uh, Hall, but. Might want to think that again. Ooh, we got some chess going. Are they the chess that where the characters move? Might want to think that again. We got a unicorn skeleton. Ooh, what is this? Oh, jeez. That's terrifying. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Okay, we have an ominous gaunt. Oh, cool. I didn't know that, that, well, I, I guess it makes sense that uh, when they said that we had a view of the lake, but I thought we literally had a view of the lake, not like under the lake. Mermaids make a bit more sense now, then. This common room is way cooler than I thought it was going to be, or than I expected it was going to be. Like, Gryffindor's going to be boring. Actually, this, is pro this probably is the best common room now that I think about it. Uh, might want to think that again. Okay, so we can talk to Imelda Reyes. We got three people we can talk to. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, well, let's I do suppose. Ominous Con first. Uh, might want to think that again. Hey there. I, I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Okay, so he's blind, it looks like. Memorable, more like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance. I'm gonna say that. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. <laughs> Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Okay, uh, nice meeting you, or did you suspect you'd be Slytherin, or do mer mermaids often appear? That seems like the most, the best uh, conversation opener, so we'll do that. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. All right, we'll go with more inquisition here. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Alright, cool. So I suspect that uh, Melda should be the again. next one. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> they are the Check moving kind. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. <clears throat> Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Shh. I'm feeling I am not going to like it. I <laughs> like this character. Should we try to be friends anyway? Eh. We handled it, and I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. 
Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Uh, okay. Uh, do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? All right. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. She might not be as bad as I initially thought. But, I mean, we're, we are in Slytherin, so there's going to be a lot of braggarts and stuff like that. I already knew that. By nature. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. So it was terrifying or it was exciting. Uh, I mean, somebody died, so I'm going to go with... Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Hmm. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. <laughs> okay, this character's interesting. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. Hmm. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Okay, so this is, is the character the new I'm fifth year Slytherin in here. Use. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. <sighs> Who said that? I suspect most Slytherins would prefer not to be in a dungeon myself. So, yeah, I suspect that that character is the one that we're going to talk to for dark arts and stuff like that. The darkest of arts. Okay, so we, we were able to get a little further, so we got a boat that's being wrecked. Good morning. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I am. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Oh, Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. <laughs> that's cool. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right, here comes the tutorial. This way. Like we didn't have a tutorial already. Let's check this uh, this thing over here because it really wanted us to. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a oh, student. We'll check this stuff later. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. 
But I have spidey sense. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Okay. Do keep up. I, I'm, I am keeping up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay, so we got the statue, Revelio. Revelio. We have a Kelpie statue. And it says, uh, Guide Pages. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. That's cute. Okay, so challenge unlocked, uh, collect field guide pages. You just unlocked a field guide. Uh, field guide challenge, your progress towards completing challenge. Wait, your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, field guide challenges are the only way to require experience points or XP. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we're going to open the field guide because it sort of wants us to. So, uh, this is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. And... Collecting your first, uh, your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. So field guide pages, okay. New challenges, uh, new challenges you unlock throughout the adventure will appear here. Okay. Uh, select field guide pages to continue. Oh wow, this is a deeper hole than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, Field guide page is one percent. Uh, so we have a locked challenge. We have two locked challenges, and then we have collect field guide pages. So I just collect field guide pages by scanning stuff in Hogwarts with the Revelio. Is that how that works? Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts, uh, and then gear appearance reward. Okay, so we can get spectacles if we win this, I guess. Uh, each challenge has tiers. Special special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed in the challenges menu. Uh, come back often to collect re rewards you have unlocked. Hmm. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay, I get the feeling that we're going to Revelio a lot here. So I don't want to miss anything. That is so cool. I feel like they should have added more chatter here so that weren't just silent. That's ah, cool too. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your okay. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right. You have discovered a flu flames fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any uh, discovered flu flames. Okay. Open the map. All right, flu flame locations. We have astronomy wing, bell tower wing, the grand scare, scare case, staircase, the great hall, and the library annex, and then the south wing. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live, and includes the common rooms and the Great Hall. Okay, so we can select the Grand Staircase region to continue. Oh, each one has a bunch of little things? Okay. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. 
Green flu flames represent flames you've discovered, including your own common room, uh, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal locations of undiscovered flames. Gotcha. The right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. So we got the library annex. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Okay. Use A and D to rotate the map. Oh, that's convenient. Um, use A and D to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flames uh, with spacebar. Or maybe I can just click it. It seems like I can just click it. That's probably the fastest way to do that. I'm surprised that there wasn't a flu flame. Um, and here we are, quite the time saver. Animation. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Jeez. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. All right. Uh, I do know what Hogsmeade is, but we might as well ask. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. All right, uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Heckert in charge of our students' education in that regard. Heckert, okay. Well, I aspire to be a Death Eater, so... <laughs> uh, okay, charms? What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. All right, that seems like it. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. It is. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging okay. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, so there is in fact, or I'm afraid there isn't. Oh, jeez. I, he told me not to tell anybody. Now, I really like her. She, she's a very nice, but she's very... Uh, from her colors, I'm going to say that she's probably a, uh, a Gryffindor, so let's keep it a secret for now. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. There Speak he is. of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. 
I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Spying Come and me? find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. So it seems like professors are going to be mission givers. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. It only involved a click. I wouldn't call it masterful. You did so. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. All right. Uh, you can track available quests from the map. Okay. This icon represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant experience points. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. These cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay, new. Okay. Uh, those are kind of the same thing, right? Um, track a quest with right click to continue. Okay, so we have two here. We have, <coughs> excuse me, Defense Against the Dark Arts class. The field guide shows Professor Hecate's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get to this... Wait. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to use the Charmed Compass V in the field guide to help me find the way. Okay, so that's my pathfinding thing. And I'm supposed to attend Defense Against the Dark Arts class. And the rewards is Levioso. Okay, sounds good. Or we can go to Charms class. The field guide map shows Professor Ronin's class in the astronomy wing. This castle is enormous. Okay, we've read that before. Go to Charms class. Rewards is As Asio? Okay. Oh, yeah, Asio. Right, right. Um, so that's like our force pull. I want force pull. We're gonna go there. <laughs> the map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Ooh. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. 
I desperately want, want to go and get a, um, a... Okay, so quest complete. Oh, damn it. Uh, charmed compass, new item unlocked. There's a lot of stuff popping up at once here. Charm class V. Uh, charm class compass, or the charm compass will lead you. Damn it. Okay, whatever. So we go that way. Right. Well, hopefully there's. Okay. I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade myself one day. Glad Rex could do with some competition. I always feel quite free. Okay, so right now I'm just I'm just looking around. Oh, what is that? So let's try Revelio here. It's embarrassing. Even he seems irritated by it. Then again, what isn't he irritated by? Well, my father naturally assumed I'd be a strong seeker just like him. I say thank you. Okay, so let's uh, Revelio this bad boy Revelio. here. Did that not work? Okay, field guide page. We have one. The statue of Gregory the Smarmy. Guide pages. This statue, with an ingratiating grin, depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction. <laughs> <laughs> a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. <laughs> Alright, so we've completed a quest. Uh, collect the field guide pages in Hogwarts. I'm gonna open. How, wait, how do I open? Is it M? I thought M was just the map. Alright, we're gonna have to tie this to tab because that's what I'm used to from uh thank you very much to oh what is that side quests uh side quests are now available available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as flag and discovered by exploring the world these quests reward experience points but do not advance the main story which is good because we probably want to uh um, level up and have a an easier time of things. So gear, okay. Inventory. Challenges, I think, is where we're actually trying to go. Field guide pages. Here we go. All right. Discover field guide pages around the world. Oh, oh! I was supposed to claim rewards before. Okay, so. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. I guess maybe I wasn't. Okay. We have spectacles if we want them. And now we've unlocked. Okay, that's what happened. We unlocked the possibility of Hogwarts regalia gloves. I hope that they're in Slytherin colors because I don't like that. That looks like uh, Dumbledore colors. No, Gryffindor colors. <laughs> um, okay, so... But, I mean, they do look pretty nice. They look kind of like, like Quidditchy gloves or some kind of like riding gloves or driving gloves. I like them. Okay, so we have map and quests. So we are already familiar with the map, I think. Let's check out quests. Uh, okay, so this is our charms class. What is this icon here? Oh, okay, that just means that there's a new one. Okay, okay. I think I think I'm getting the hang of this. But I definitely need to tie this to uh to tab. Wait, what is this? I also like how this is sort of a low frame rate. It looks like a like an old movie. Alright, so we've quests, that's right. And we have complete main quests. Uh, complete two main story quests. Okay, that's fine, and we'll get a different type of gloves. Legendary gloves. Alright. Let's hop out of here. Okay, so how do we bring that up? It's escape. 
do I actually want to change that? I do. Okay, how do I change that? Oh, it's a, it would be in here. It would be in settings. Right, right. Um, so, uh, that would be under these controls, probably. I wonder if we can actually reset it. We might, we might not be able to. Tool wheels tab. And it does appear as though this is locked. We could put an alternate on there. I think we have to keep it the way it is for now. Until we know what the tool wheel Try is. Corn. I don't remember all the all the beastie names. The Hydra. Okay. Actually, is this Dark Art? No, that it would be magical creatures, right? Isn't that the? Oh, this is so cool. There's a glitch on this character though. She popped into animation. In a couple frame rate drops here. I might actually have to turn down the uh, um, ray yeah, tracing. So, Lenora ever lie? Okay, <laughs> so does she always lie? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just ask. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. So she's a Hufflepuff, Do right? come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Garlic asked me to explain to the class the main use of plants. I said picking them. What? I thought your mother was nice. <laughs> okay, is, so that is Hufflepuff. But it's my baby sister. Whoa. The frame has butterflies that move. Sorry. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Well, it's right down there. Whoa! Major frame rate drop. to play with earthworms. So last time I was home, I found some for her. Okay, I may have to turn off ray casting. Or ray tracing. This looks like the location from the painting. It is. What could be so special about it? But I've already done the rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay. Hopefully this didn't ruin anything. By the fact that I... Oh, what is that? What do I do with that? Okay, you can't shoot it. Lumos. There it is. Let's oh. get you back to your frame, little moth. Okay. A moth to a frame. <laughs> Cute. Obviously the best frame oh. is the dangerous plants. Um <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Okay. Oh 
Or do we just love one? We have two. Can you eat a Chinese chocolate cabbage? Not that I'm going to find out, mind you. A Chinese chocolate cabbage. Okay. Hey there. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <laughs> I'll tell her. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Okay, we got some regalia. All right, I, I, there's so much going on here. <laughs> it's kind of getting difficult to keep track of. I was hoping she'd animate or something. Man, these frame rate drops are getting serious. I, I think I have to turn down my... I gotta turn down my visual settings here. Um, maybe this? Okay. I think we'll probably just have to turn off some of this ray tracing. Let's just do all of it. That stinks. I'm kind of sad about that. Well, it's good. They won't take effect until the end of the episode, but because I'll restart the game, I'm not gonna restart in the middle of the episode, obviously. Um. Yeah, I mean my my PC is kind of beefy, but it's uh, you know uh, ray tracing is so expensive. Alright, so we've been over here. We've been over here. We haven't been all the way to the end. Yeah, my PC's like two years old. Do we really need to practice flying on a broomstick? I thought that was the purpose of trains. Everyone falls off their broom at least once. Off uh, on another adventure, I'd are like we? Open a shop in Hogsmeade myself. Wow, everything talks to you here. I feel like Minority Report when, like, he's going through the the mall and everything's trying to sell him stuff. Like, everything's trying to grab your attention all the time. Oh, what is this? Oh, hello. Whoa. No. Okay, we got Royal Chinese Fireball Scarf. That's cool. Oh. Oh, this place is enormous. This, <laughs> this is gonna be... Okay. Uh -huh. I, I have to probably come up with it. Oh, jeez. I probably have to come up with a better a better system for exploring this place, otherwise I'm gonna get overwhelmed. Level lock one. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just go to class. I tried transforming a rabbit into a dinner plate the other day. Ended up with a Revelio. I mean there's there was no Revelio queue. So I think that we pretty much just have to look for the Revelio queue. Alright, so uh, let's go to... What was that again? The p How to s do the path. It's V, right? Okay. I'm not currently tracking anything. Okay. Um, head to the map. Oh, that's right. Okay. So we completed a quest, and that's why there's nothing currently being tracked. So let's go to Charms. Let's try Revelio again. There we go. Okay. But before that, let's... Oh, I was going to go to level, but it won't let me. Okay. Gear. I'm sure there's a tutorial on leveling up and stuff like that. Face wear. So we have a new scarf. Maybe we can check that out. 
So we have a natural beige scarf, which has no magical properties. Then we have a royal Chinese fireball scarf of extraordinary quality. It increases our offense, so we'll totally do that. Um, defense, no upgrades applied. Let's give that a try. Okay. I kind of wish it were Slytherin colored, though. That's all right. Um, so we have our cloaks and robes. We have our outfit. I thought we unlocked something. And where? Ooh, yeah. I feel like Slytherin should have should have gloves. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're all germaphobes or something. It just seems like like something that they would do, you know. Headwear. Nah. No. All right. Well, actually, did this did this give us anything? I don't think it does. Nothing. Okay. So we'll probably sell them when we get an opportunity. Uh, we also have collections. It looks like we have new appearances. Okay. So that's the Hogwarts regalia spectacles. A pair of spectacles for the stalwart explorer of Hogwarts, earned by discovering field guide pages. All right. We also have a... Clo uh, oh. So that comes up twice. Interesting. Or it isn't marking... How do I tell this thing that I'm done? Or did I unlock something else? Oh, I did. Cobalt. Uh, Regalia, an ensemble for those with poise and refinement, earned by solving the mystery of the empty painting frame. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff here. Additional content, we have a dark arts robe, a robe suited to those seeking great power, regardless of the cost. We have a dark arts mask, a skull mask, Embellished with silver filigree. We have Dark Arts gloves. A pair of black rivet gloves. Okay, I might have just put those on too. We have Dark Arts hat. A hat worn by those in, in touch with the darker side of magic. I actually kind of don't like the way it looks. Oh, but it might have that skull emblem on it, which will be cool. A hat worn. Okay, we've heard. Why is that twice? We have a dark heart scarf. A scarf for those who prefer making journeys alone. And then we have Dark Arts Ensemble. An ensemble for those with a proclivity for pushing the boundaries of magic. Why do I have one of these that's hmm? Alright, very exciting, very exciting. It seems like I'm gonna have a lot of dark arts related stuff later on which is great because I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of be a dark character here so then we have uh, Revelio pages we have the uh, the statue yep we read that before we read that before so those are the same messages as when we actually revealed them so that appears to be nothing new I think that we have everything new on this page which leaves only challenges and quests. So this is the complete three side relationship quests. We've only got one so far, but that'll give us some bookish half room spectacles, which I will totally not wear unless they give us some kind of upgrade. I hope that glasses don't give you an upgrade. That'd be weird. Like, I mean, it would make sense if, you know, the character actually had difficulty with seeing, but what was that noise? Revelio. Mm. There's definitely a noise. Or does that always happen with Revelio? My. Oh, what is this? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. 
Man, it's gonna take me so long just to go through this game because, like. Peasy Skate's the best one ever! Oh, it's. Can't catch me! Okay. So I thought that it was this way. Uh, let's press V again to make sure. Okay, it is. We are on the right course. Man, I'm getting some serious frame rate drops. Uh, I'm tempted to end the episode here and restart the game. Because otherwise, we're going to be dealing with this for... Yeah, let's do that. Um... So I'm going to wrap it up here. Sorry if there, if not too much happened in this episode. But, I mean, we did do a minor side quest and we got out of, we, you know, explored the common room and all that. So I suppose that maybe now is not the worst time to wrap up the episode. So, so thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day. I'm shooting for 4 p.m. Eastern Time years in Canada. Although... For the first day, I'm probably going to put up a whole bunch of episodes just because it's new and I don't want to, uh, well, I feel like a lot of people are going to be covering this, this game and I don't want to get too far behind, basically, uh, is what it comes down to. You know, I'm a slither and I got some ambition, right? <laughs> I want, I don't want to be like way behind everybody else, which I sort of are, already am because, um, you know, I'm playing on PC and it came out on PlayStation like on Tuesday or something like that. But, uh, so I probably will upload a whole bunch on the first few days and, uh, uh, and hopefully it won't be completely overwhelming to my channel, but uh, it is a small channel, so if I lose a lot of subscribers, I mean, I'll be sad, but it, it's, it's not the worst fate ever. But anyway, so uh, yeah, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, new episodes, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, hope, I hope you'll catch the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.